everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a giant toy story disney haul so originally i was going to do this video in two videos and i was going to section it off into a truffle shuffle haul and a hype haul but then i realized that truffle shuffle sell hype so i was like why am i doing that it's all toy story it doesn't really matter where it's coming from i'm just going to put it all in one big video so bit of a disclaimer this is not a sponsored video but it does include gifted items and i can share an affiliate code with you which will get you 15 percent off truffle shuffle items which also includes hype so a lot of the stuff i bought myself in this video but some of it was gifted however i chose everything so everything that was gifted i chose and it's kind of an equal parts half of the stuff i bought half the stuff i was gifted but with no uh, obligation to post as a video grab yourself a cup of tea and get comfy because honestly guys this is going to be a long one so this high top was gifted to me i'm going to put a little clip at the side i can't remember which side it is hopefully it's this side since i'm slightly more over to this side why can i never remember what side it is it's really cute it doesn't look toy story at first but on the back which i'll put at the side is a big lotso bear on the back it is so cute i actually really like the kind of vibe of this top it's very you know it's just white and baby pink which i think is really cute and then you've got your giant lotso on the back there i mean if that isn't the cutest thing ever then i don't know what is i sized up in this top and i got a medium let me just check that i definitely did i'm pretty sure that says medium but i could be wrong and it might say small so it's quite baggy it's quite long i actually wore it out yesterday with cycle shorts and uh, it covered my touche my touche my touche a little bit as well which i like to do when i'm wearing leggings the only thing i will say about the hype stuff is sometimes i think it's a little overpriced so this top for instance is 24.99 do I think that's overpriced? Hmm, maybe slightly. Uh, I was gifted this top. Look at that. So this is not hype. This is actually Truffle Shuffle's own. You can see on the tag there. Again, I got this in medium. I have my own tops with, uh, with Truffle Shuffle. Isn't that amazing? Uh, I have my own Care Bears tops with Truffle Shuffle. They are still available. I'll put a link down below if anybody wants them. And my code actually works on them as well. There you go, you can get 15% off My Care Bears tops. So I actually have a top like this with pink sleeves and then My Care Bears design on it. I ordered this one in a medium because I liked the big kind of oversized look of this kind of, you could say 90s vibe top because that is an original Toy Story kind of artwork there. Um, so it is just plain on the back, black. It's very like skater girl, isn't it? I love it. So this one is also $24.99. I'm a big fan of this one. I like it with the black as well. I don't know what it is. I just really like this top. So the next item I chose from Truffle Shuffle that they kindly gifted was this cap. How cute is this? This is just, oh, I love it. I don't know how cool I am and I don't know if I suit caps, but I want to try wearing them. And plus I'm going to Disney World next year. So I feel like caps are going to be a really good thing for around the pool and for when it's like really hot. So this one, I love the colours. There's something about the Toy Story, Buzz, Lightyear and Alien colours that I absolutely adore. I love Woody and I love Bo Peep and all that. But my favourite is Buzz and the Aliens and Zerg. I just love the whole green and purple and blue and the white. I don't know why, I just do. I like that it's adjustable. It's, it feels really good quality, but not like thick and heavy. Like this will be comfy in the hot weather. Um, so I'm planning on taking this to Disney World and I'm so excited. So this one's $18.99 on the Truffle Shuffle website. It's really nice quality. Like it's nice and thin, but not too thin. Like it's breathable. So the next item is a cake worthy shirt flannel thing. <laughs> This is my first cake worthy item actually, so thank you Truffle Shuffle for gifting me this. Um, I unfortunately missed out on the Make It Pink, Make It Blue flannel, flannel shirt from uh, from Cakeworthy. Like they brought it out last year or the year before and I remember it went on sale and then it sold out and I was gutted because hello, pink and blue flannel sleeping beauty need like ugh, so good that i missed that i thought i'm gonna i'm gonna see what these flannels are all about and what they're like and since seeing toy story 4 forky is my favorite character in the movie he's so cute like trash like i absolutely love him so when i seen that they had the cake worthy forky flannel i was like oh i have to i mean look at it so i got this in a small and i'm kind of like a size eight on top to ten on bottom and i want to be able to wear it over t-shirts as a kind of you know like an overshirt and leave it open but i also want to be able to button it up 
and wear it as a shirt on its own or tuck it in and hang it over a little bit and the small is the perfect size it does all three i'm really happy with how it looks hopefully i'm showing you that at the side and i also like the little embroider rainbow detailing on the collar forgot what that was called it's not thick but it's definitely not thin like this is really nice quality like i'm even more gutted that i missed out on the make a pink make a blue cake worthy flannel now because oh these are lovely like definitely want more there's also a yellow toy story one uh, which i've got my eye on but yeah the make a pink make a blue one I, I have nightmares about that like i wish i bought it so cake worthy as far as i can tell i think you can order from their website if you're in the uk However, if you're in the UK, you may as well get them on Truffle Shuffle for $49.99, which yes, is pricey, but I do feel like they are really nice quality. And if you use my 15% off code, you're gonna get that for £35, is that right? Definitely for £35, that's actually really good. Yes, yes, look at me coming through with the 15% discount code. Don't say I don't treat you. <laughs> so the next item, which I am, whoa, can't believe they gifted me this like i asked them i was like can i have this and they were like yeah i was like yeah i am very grateful for all this very grateful i have never bought myself one of these before you know what i'm just gonna show you it's the buzz light your lounge fly bag oh my word i don't own lounge fly that i can think of and um, lounge fly is expensive <laughs> so this is actually 65 pound it is full leather and honestly I haven't really seen one up close. I've seen the mini ones up close on sale in games sometimes when I'm in there looking at games. Like the, the, um, the Darth Vader mini one and stuff. They're really cute. But I've never really seen like the full size backpack before. And honestly when it came I was like I kind of get why it's £65. That is a nice backpack. It is nice. It is really nice quality. Ugh, it's going to sound crazy but the straps just feel... They're, they're really soft but like thick. Like they feel like awesome quality then you've got like a little pocket on the side here with the detail in like there's so much detail in this a little pocket here with the detail in you've got your front pocket i haven't got anything in there at the minute i've still got the packaging in there actually just to keep it like up and then get ready for the inside so you've got your it says lounge fly on it it says lounge fly there like it's very thick it's very good quality like now that i know that these are this awesome quality yes i would pay 65 pound for them however use my 15 percent off code and i don't know what that comes out at but you get it cheaper <laughs> so look inside so i actually have things inside what have i got i've got a cinema ticket my glasses box and a brush but look inside look at that quality like look at that print that right there is my all-time favorite disney toy story print i know that might sound crazy but i have it on shoes i missed out on the backpack from vans with that print i have it on a pair of ears from my favorite ear maker hannah marie magic the right up there i'm looking at them it just keeps going like the quality just keeps going so yeah i absolutely love this yes it's 65 pound but it's one of those backpacks that's an investment it's a good size you can get everything in it's durable it's not going to fall apart and for disney world next year this is going to be my baby i am so excited like as soon as it came in the post this came in the post yesterday and i put my stuff straight in it and took it out and took photos i'll put the photos at the side pew, pew, pew. like honestly love it so much so thank you so much truffle shuffle and lounge fly this is my first lounge fly so they were also really kind and gifted me the matching purse mm, thank you so much for this um so it's got like the big square on the back there again that says like lounge fly Oh, it's just amazing Um, i haven't put my stuff in this yet but i'm going to <laughs> so my three things with a purse is i have to have a separate zippy part for coinage i have to have enough card slots for all my cards uh did i say three things i meant four things i have to have a picture bit so we've got zippy bit picture bit card slots and i also like to have a full length money or receipt slot and there is two as far as i can see yep there's two so oh sorry there's three and also it just keeps going with the quality look at the inside and then look at the inside of here as well oh my god so yeah obsessed so this is 35 pound so if you got them both it would be 100 pound but with my code you get them for 85 i think is that right it is a lot but if i had the money i would like i would like i am 
like I will now buy more lounge fly I think it's a really great price and like I said like they're very durable like these are gonna last a while like it's really nice quality and if you're vegan or you don't want to be wearing leather blah 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 fake leather uh faux leather should I say it's a really good durable high quality so yeah there's also a woody backpack and a bo peep backpack i'm not sure if there's matching purses for those i appreciate everything but this is amazing okay so some of the next items are still in the packets because they weren't clothes so when i was filming all of the clothes bits to put it aside for you yesterday i um i didn't need to film oh maybe i should have filmed this anyway this is a towel <laughs> so i'm going to be taking this to disney world with me next year um, all oh, right, so you can see there what it looks like when it's folded out big. That is what it will look like. Large beach towel, 90 by 180 centimeters. Wow, so that's almost two meters tall. That's actually pretty good. I kind of almost want to leave it in the packet because I'm not going on to Disney World till next year. But I'm going to take it out and show you guys. We, we, we need to inspect the quality. Oh, it's soft. Oh, it's soft. Oh, oh, it's like being abroad. Oh, you know when you get out the pool and you wrap it around you? Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I haven't put my announcement video up yet. I really need to do my announcement video for Disney World. Oh, Buzz Lightyear to infinity. Oh, it smells new. So I'm just kind of going to go up. So you can see it is really bright. Lovely. Like, it's so soft. It's really nice. Hopefully you can see that. And I'm just kind of folding it up. And I think we're at the bottom now. Are we at the bottom? Hopefully we are. That's what it looks like. Um, it's really nice quality. It's really soft. It's a really good size. How much was this one? Okay, so the beach towel is $16.99, which is less than the cap. That's actually a really good price. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So the next item is this little pin. I had to have this. I just thought it was really cute. So it's a Rex pin. So I'm going to take this out of there and put it in my pin trading bag. Uh, I can't wait to do that. I think these are really cheap. They're like £5, £6. They have quite a few pins as well. They have like a ham. Woody, Buzz. I already have a Buzz pin from Disneyland Paris though. There he is. How cute is he? Okay, so the last item gifted to me but chosen by me from Truffle Shuffle is a cup. I haven't had this out yet, so this is going to be interesting. The cute thing about Truffle Shuffle as well is that you always get a little packet of fizzes in your package. Always. So I chose the heat changing mug i love a heat changing mug i'm such a child so it's the toy story aliens like i said i love that print and then well it's not it's just their eyes when it's cold oh man i could have used it today i've got a cup of tea now in my mickey memories by the way who's heard the rumor completely unrelated who's heard the rumor that next year it's mini memories oh, i'm not ready it's a rumor i'm not sure if it's true so last year was mickey memories if you don't know what i'm talking about disney store they released a collection mickey memories Whew. uh this year is wisdom collection i'm not collecting it um many reasons and apparently next year is mini memory maybe the mini memories apparently back to the video this is it oh look at it so it's got the little eyes everywhere the little toy story alien eyes the claw is my master i have been chosen that's hilarious so that's actually yeah that's a cup of tea size i'm very particular i have a lot of cups that are too big and too small like the mickey memories are just right <laughs> so this looks like could just be right for a cup of tea so i get the feeling i'm gonna get a lot of use out of this they have a lot of cups actually like honestly triple shuffle have so much toy story stuff 9.99 oh actually that's a really good price yeah it came in a box it came well packaged there was no way that that was getting smashed and it's official Disney, it's underneath. But that's amazing, thank you Triple Shuffle. I'm really, really happy with that one. That, oh, it's a good size, I like that. It's like that kind of size. Can you see that? Right, that's all the Truffle Shuffle stuff that I was gifted. I'm getting the feeling that sitting under these studio lights, having a cup of tea is gonna be regret because it's like 19 degrees today. 19 degrees today. Ugh, it's better than last week, which was 34 degrees. Right, we're gonna move on to Disney Store. Everything. <laughs> all right there's four items from disney store two are gifted two are bought i will show you them as i pick them up so the first oh i could show you my toy story key oh hang on i'll get my toy story key because it makes sense it makes sense so you may or may not know i'm so warm right now uh, if you don't know what i'm talking about they look like this so they were originally for the opening ceremony at disney store so some disney stores have an open ceremony and if you are the first one at the store when it opens like they have like a little ceremony thing. I've done it myself and you get a key. You get one of the limited edition keys for opening the store. They released this key about two weeks ago. So you can see there 
the Pixar lamp and the ball. It's a really nice key. So it's basically just a key that is themed Toy Story. You have to go to store and spend £15 on Toy Story merchandise, for this key anyway. It's different rules for every key. And you have to be one of the first 100 people at the store to get the key. For the first time, they released the keys online to the first thousand people that bought them online. I don't know how that went. I don't know if people that bought them online got them because I went to store and I got this. Oh, Lord, I've just pulled my own hair. So for them to release the key two months after the movie and to be told that you have to spend £15 on the Toy Story range was a bit like but I, I have everything I want from the Toy Story range. <laughs> However my boyfriend did like this and like I said we are going to Disney World next year so he needs more tops for Disney World. You don't have to wear Disney in Disney World but also you kind of do. So we got this for my boyfriend which also hilariously we are the same size in clothes uh, so in Disney store I wear mediums and so does he. So it's kind of for both of us but he's been wearing it and I probably will steal it occasionally and wear it oversized with like leggings and stuff. So it's the evil Dr. Pork Chop Top. It was £16 and we got the last medium and it meant that we got the key. Okay, the next Disney store item is the Buzz Lightyear Spirit Jersey. Ah, oh, I think I'll probably said in my last Disney haul or something, I don't know, maybe I didn't, that I really, really wanted this. Um, I was hoping to get it when I went to Paris, Disneyland Paris, um, in June, but it wasn't there. I did get a Spirit Jersey, to be honest, but I didn't get this one because it wasn't in the parks. It's now sold out, unfortunately, I'm sorry. Um, it came out with a Woody Spirit Jersey, which is still available, I think, and it came out with a Cloud one, which I also would have liked, but again, sold out. I was keeping an eye on it, I was keeping an eye on it. I'm a bit of a cheapskate. I just think 50 quid is a lot of money on a Spirit Jersey. And then it started selling out and there was a large left and that was it. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get it and I actually love it. I bought my Disneyland Paris Spirit jersey in a medium and as much as it looks nice and baggy on the body it's not long enough on the arms for me. I like them really baggy so from now on I'll be buying my spirit jerseys in large so it was kind of a sign you know it was only available in a large it was selling out so I bought the large and it fits like a dream so I'm glad I bought it so spirit jerseys are basically big baggy tops and then on the back it is like rubbery. I don't know if you can hear that and it says Space Ranger, if you're really desperate, I think our American friends might still have it or check eBay. Ugh. Okay. Whew. Headbrush. I have another top from Toy Story. Yes, from. Ugh. I have another Toy Story top from Disney Store that I bought myself, which is a massive favourite with the Disney community. Um, I bought it when it first came out and I wanted to show you that as well because it's just been restocked but I can't find it. So I'm just gonna put a picture at the side of what it looks like. Um, I believe it is about 16.99. I can't quite remember, was it 20 pound? Maybe it's 20 pound. Anyway, it's available on Disney Store. It says 99.5 on it. It's got the V-neck. It's very like baseball top. It's really long. I like to wear it with leggings and also it's very big. I'm wearing an extra small in that picture it's huge so size down i would recommend and um, but yeah so that is another one that is available now it's toy story thought i'd show you it but i can't find it so there's a picture yay so speaking of that toy story event while i was at that event oh i was kindly gifted this buzz lightyear i'm pretty sure i haven't included this in a disney haul since i apologize if i have done a disney haul since i don't think i have though fun fact while i was at that event disney told us that their all-time best-selling christmas gift gift all-time best-selling Christmas gift every year since the movies came out in the 90s is this Buzz Lightyear. Every Christmas, this is the top-selling toy. Isn't that crazy? Um, it doesn't surprise me, though. Like, wow, he's a little bit trying to hit me in the face. Uh, it doesn't surprise me, though. He's absolutely amazing. I love him. My dad came over the other day, and my dad tried to steal him. My dad was like, I've always wanted one. I was like, really, Dad? So this one is a Bonnie one. So he's like, new Toy Story 4 um, quotes. Is that what you call them? Oh, so obviously he says that in the original, but hang on. It's a secret mission in a charted space. Okay, Let's go. that's an original one as well. No time to explain. Attack. Is that a new one? The slingshot maneuver is all we've got. Full speed ahead. That's a new one. So they talk to each other. The the Buzz, the, the, the Buzz, the Woody, and the Bo Peep dolls, the new ones, all talk to each other. He's £25. Is he? Yeah, £25. He's like, he comes in the, like, it looks like the original, like, space rocker box. Uh, oh, I love him. I've always wanted one. When I showed Matthew when I got home from that event, he was like, oh my god, I've always wanted one. I think everyone says that, though. Um, yeah, he's great. He's just absolutely great. So, 
that's my buzz. So obviously you guys know I love my villains and I have been after this a very, very long time. And then when the new merch came out, the Emperor Zerg doll thing, I'm just gonna show you. Ah, oh, this guy got took away from Disney store. Couldn't see him anywhere. I was like, typical, I've been after him for years. And then when I want him, he's gone. He's back in stores now though. So I don't really know what happened there. I don't know if they changed him, but he doesn't talk. Uh, but he does have phrases. I mean, he doesn't talk to Buzz. I mean, like the new dolls all talk to each other. He doesn't. Oh, my son, join me. This was gifted, but not by a brand. <gasps> this was gifted by my Disney fam. If you've seen my Disneyland Paris haul, you've already seen this guy. Um, my if you don't know who my Disney fam are, uh, I organised a group community Disneyland Paris trip um in June. There is another one coming um at the end of the year, so look out for it if you want to come. Uh, anyone's welcome, everyone and anyone. And yeah, the people on that trip were really kind, knew that I wanted this Emperor's Erg. I can only imagine from watching my weekly vlogs, which is weird. And they bought me him, but I wanted to show you him because he's Toy Story and he's still available in Disney Store. I don't know how much he was. I'm guessing 25, like the other dolls. So my Emperor's Erg. Right, so the next item is from Disney UK slash Hype. So I was gifted this from Disney UK. Ta-da! Oh, I love this bag. Hype released some new bags and then they released their Toy Story clothing range. So I do actually have some of the clothing range to show you. I was literally a week away from going to Disneyland Paris. So I was like, I need to be good. I'm only gonna get one of the bags. So I was after two of the bags. Now last year they released this bag in Buzz Lightyear form. And then this year they released this bag in Zerg form and a small Buzz Lightyear bag. And I was like, do I want the small Buzz Lightyear bag or do I want the giant Zerg bag? Now I couldn't decide. And I thought because of how tired I get in Disneyland Paris, I'll go for the small Buzz bag. So I did. So I bought the small Buzz bag. Um, but I knew when I got back from Disney, I was gonna order myself the Zerg bag. And then a few days later, I had no idea Disney saw sent this to my door. I could not believe it. I was like, these are the two bags I wanted and how bad would it have been? Well, not bad, but how like ironic would it have been if I'd bought this one and then they sent me this one? They know me so well, they know I love my villains. So I bought myself the small Toy Story one and I was gifted this egg one. So this one was 35 99 and this one was 22 99 So I'll show you this one first. This one comes with a really long white <laughs> white strap which yes is already dirty I don't know if you can see that like I have used this bag a lot actually it's really dirty I guess because it's white like I've used it a lot I don't know if it looks dirty it's really cool though look that's the back of the bag and it looks like the back of his box it's a really good size like you can get a lot in there and uh, the only thing I would say about this bag is that because of this me this like metallic -y silver trim all up in the bag it gets stuck on the zipper and it does on the Zerg bag as well and a lot of people I know have this problem as well to the point where it's ripped their bag trying to zip it so it worked that time I think I was quite lucky my bags aren't too bad also this is a little forky key ring it's um what do you call it a Funko Pop one like a Funko one that was gifted to me by Audion of all people they give my little sister one as well and she was so over the moon she was like oh my god forky so it even says Bonnie on his feet. I don't think you can see that. Anyway, so I bought this one from Hype. Absolutely love it. I uh, used it in Disneyland. I've got, a, Buzz loved this. Buzz tried to get in it. Buzz absolutely loved this. It was such a good interaction. Um, and then he proposed to me. <gasps> so yeah, this is a great bag. I love this. Absolutely love the quality. So you can see like it's got the Disney patch on there. And it just looks like he's box basically. And then it's got behind, it's got like the instructions and stuff. Um, yeah, it's a great bag. Absolutely love it. And it's obviously big enough and has the window to put him in because it's supposed to be his box as a bag. So again, the silver does get a little bit caught in the zip sometimes. Let me show you. That's where it gets caught. I don't know if you can see that. So watch this. Mm. So then you have to kind of like push it back under and then that side's fine. It's not a bad like it doesn't bug me loads, but some people I know it's all ripped down that side off the zip. So just be careful. Instead of going through hype and paying full price, go through Truffle Shuffle, use my link below, use my code SLPORTER15 and you will get 15% off. I've been talking for a very long time. Right, last but not least. So now everything I'm gonna show you, I bought myself. Everything I'm about to show you, I bought myself. And I bought all of this off the hype website so the first item is this pair of toy story cloud shorts so i've actually got them on now when they came i've been living in these i have been living in these i love them hang on i don't know if you're going to be able to see but this is them 
So they are like, uh, I don't know if they're men's or if they're unisex, but I don't care, I love them. So there's also a matching hoodie. Also, I've just seen on the Truffle Shuffle website, they now have this print in a t-shirt. What do you know? I'm actually tempted to get the t-shirt to match the shorts because I think I'm sending the hoodie back. Mm. I will explain. The quality, again, amazing. Very thick, very comfy, very just love it. Um, nice big pocket there, got the hood. It is basically a Toy Story cloud hoodie. I bought everything in a medium. Like I said, they're a little bit bigger than a medium, but I'm not mad. I like that. The t-shirts are fine, a little bit big. The shorts and some tracky bottoms I'm gonna show you in a second, got them in a medium, a little bit big, but love it. Love things a little bit bigger. The hoodies and the jumpers, I also got in a medium massive absolutely massive i don't know if that hoodie looks too big because i wear everything too big anyway but it's slightly too big too big so yeah and i don't know if it's just because it's summer so when i had it on i was like this is too big like i'm hot like there's too much material 50 for the hoodie sorry something like that i just feel like the bags are so well priced and then the clothes are like expensive like there are brands out there that sell things for much more and i get it it's um you know it's toy story it's official it's disney it's gorgeous it's just something about it that's like that's too much though mm, i'm a cheapskate i know <laughs> right okay so this next set i'm going to show you is exactly the same problem that i'm having so i absolutely adore them but one the jumper is a little too big i mean this is a medium look at it it's <laughs> it's made the screen go funny. It is huge. Look at it. It's huge. Um, ah, it's like overcasting it because it's black. I might just have to put the clip at the side. Uh, come back down to normal colour, please. You've gone overcast, you strange thing. There we go. So right up the side of the arm and on the matching sweatpants that I'm going to show you, it says Toy Story and it's blue. Love that. Like, I love this set. I love this set. It's it's a very wearable set because it's black, but then it's got the bright colour that I need and it's very comfy. The shoulders aren't even like a good kind of 80s style, 90s style, like, um, padded shoulder. Like, yeah, like, I love that look in the blazers with the padded. Yes, I love it. It doesn't look like that. It just looks too big. Like, it's silly. Like, it's massive. Um, so I can't keep this. Like, I can't keep this in the medium. And then the matching trousers i also got in a medium so you can see toy story all down the side of the leg it's making it really overcast i'm sorry um black drawstring and then like the toy story little thing right i'm just gonna put it down because it's um, making it go overcast there we go i don't think that jumper is worth 40, 40 pound i know it's got epic print down it and it's all like stitched on like i know that saying that the sweatpants are also 40 and they're a little bit big but i like my stuff big and they fit like a dream I am keeping the sweatpants. Right, next item is something that I was extremely excited about, extremely, and was a little disappointed when it came. Just a little. So they have this top in, it's kind of like a, is it like a baseball or is it like a football? It's like a sports top. They have it in Buzz Lightyear print as well. I do love Buzz, like I love them to bits, but I also love my Zerg. So I prefer the Zerg, I just like the colours. It's like a football top, isn't it? So I was really excited about this top. I thought it looked like a big, cool, jersey kind of sports top. It's really thin. Like, can you see me through that? Oh, I don't know. If, like, it's like I can see my hand. Can you see that? I mean, I guess that means it's really breathable and comfy. But then I would like it to be a bit more fitted. And that's coming from me. And a bit more flattering. And what size did I get? Maybe I should have got a small... See, I got a medium, so it's quite big, but I wanted it to be a big baggy sports jersey, but it's too thin to be a big baggy sports jersey. Anyway, it's a really cool top, but it's not what I thought. The last item in the entire haul is this top. Pizza Planet! I actually really like this. So it's very similar to this top that I've got on. It's a ringer t-shirt. This is a ringer t-shirt, but this is a... I would, I would class as a finished ringer t-shirt, because this one doesn't have the ringer sleeves but this one does so what was your favorite item from this haul please do let me know down in the comments below thank you to disney uh, uk for gifting me the bag to my disney fam for gifting me yeah basically everybody that gifted me something that i've put into this video thank you i really appreciate it i'm gonna stop blabbing and i hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me and i will see you in my next video bye guys